Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to 9th grade triangles, quadrilaterals. We have been given that triangle AFB is congruent to triangle AFG and triangle ADE is congruent to triangle AGE and angle EAF equals to 45 degrees. We have to find out the area of the shaded region. So, let me repeat that again. We have been given triangle AFB congruent to AFG and ADE congruent to AGE and EAF is 45 degrees. We have to calculate the area of the shaded region. Now, what is our approach to solve this problem? To solve this problem, if you want to calculate the area, we need to know either the base and the height. So, we can directly do half into base into height or somehow if you are able to calculate the total area and subtract these three parts, we should be able to get the shaded area. So, for all of them first we have to understand what type of quadrilateral is this and what is the lengths of the sides. So, for that we will start with the information given to us. Given to us the triangle AFB is congruent to triangle AFG. Starting from there, we know AF equals to AF and AB equals to AG. And we also know that FB equals to FG. So, this will be 2. That is what we know. And also we know that angle AGF equals to angle ABF. So, this angle is 90 degrees. Similarly, we go to the other set of congruency. We have ADE congruent to AGE. So, we have AD equals to AG and we have angle AGE equals to angle ADE. So, we have 390 degrees there in ABCD. And also we have AB equals to AD. That means we know by that ABCD is a square. And also we know from ADE, AGE congruency that DE equals to GE. So, we will say this is A and this is also A. And already given to us this is 2 and this information is 3. EC is 3. Okay. So, now we know ABCD is a square. How we came to know about that? Just let us write down one step about that. We will say that in quadrilateral ABCD all angles are equal to 90 degrees and two adjacent sides are equal. Therefore, ABCD is a square. So, we have all angles 90 degrees and two adjacent sides are equal then ABCD is a square. If ABCD is a square then our logic is that all the sides are equal. So, DC should be equals to DC should be equals to BC. But what is DC? DC is DE plus EC and that is equals to BC that is BF plus FC. Now, let we have started with DE as A. So, we will have A plus EC that is given as 3 equals to BF. BF is 2 plus CF. Now, somehow we have to calculate what is this CF. If you are able to calculate that then we can easily calculate the value of A. From A we can calculate the side of the square. Then we should be able to get the area of the shaded region very easily. So, let us continue with this. Now, to calculate CF we will go to triangle ECF which is a right angle triangle. We can apply Pythagoras theorem and we can say that 
E F square equals to E C square plus F C F square and that will give us C F square equals to E F square minus E C square which is equals to E F is A plus 2 whole square minus E C square which is equals to 3 square. From this we know that C F equals to A plus 2 whole square minus 3 square under root. Now let us go back to our earlier condition what we got a plus 3 is equal to 2 plus square root of a plus 2 whole square minus 3 square. Let us simplify that we will have a plus 1 equals to square root of a plus 2 whole square minus 3 square. Now let us square this on both the sides and try to find out the value of a. Squaring on both sides we will have a plus 1 whole square equals to a, square, a plus 2 whole square minus 3 square. We can simplify this a square plus 2a plus 1 equals to a square plus 4a plus 4 minus 9. Just applying a plus b whole square and form identity we have a square a square cut. We will have 2a equals to 6 which will give us a equals to 3 units. Once we got a equals to 3 units we can immediately write down therefore side of the square dc equals to a plus 3 which is equals to 3 plus 3 6 centimeters. Now we know dc is 6 centimeters then we can easily calculate the area. Area of triangle AEF equals to half into base into height half into EF into AG which is equals to half into EF is A plus 2 A is 3 we got this as 3 so 3 plus 2 is 5 multiply with AG AG is equals to DC AG is equals to DC because we got A, B, A, D, A, G all of them are equal by congruency. So that is equals to half into 5 into 6 which is equals to 15 cm square. So the area of the shaded region is equals to 15 cm square.